Hi, I'm Dan Weatherington. I'm a senior specialist here in the Janney Technical Center at WJE. Today we're going to talk about detecting voiding under slabs with GPR. Voiding exists due to rainwater sometimes. You'll get flooding that will wash out the subbase. Sometimes you'll just get settlement in older structures uh, and that subbase will disconnect from the slab itself, which can cause the slab to sag, cause cracking, uh, and ultimately cause some sort of failure that can cause problems with your building. We have several different methods that we'll use to non-destructively locate voids under slabs. Uh, the one we're going to focus on today is ground penetrating radar or GPR. So here we are, we've got this warehouse building. It's an older slab, it's got some cracking in it. We want to know what's going on. There's some concerns there might be some voiding underneath it. I'm going to lay laid out a grid of data. I'm going to collect some scans and we're going to see what we find underneath there. We're looking for signals that represent an air gap between the slab and the subbase. So we got some interesting stuff going on here. Um, as I'm looking at the data, I can see where the mesh is, the reinforcing mesh within the slab. Um, I also see a black to white transition, which is indicative of the, the contact where the slab meets the subbase. As I'm scanning along, I'm noticing this is changing now. We've picked up this brighter black to white to black reflection. That amplitude change indicates that we're hitting an airspace, um, that there's probably, most likely, that there's an air gap between the slab and the subbase at this point. Uh, the transition is more is a brighter signal when you hit that airspace uh, because the radar waves move much more quickly through air than they do through concrete or through subbase. So now that we've found what we think are some voids, we've collected our scans, we've got a good grid, we can lay this all out on a plan view for the client. What we don't have is confirmation. Anytime we do work like this, we tell our clients that we need to have correlation of what we think is going on. We would tell the client, in this case, we want three different core locations to verify that there's actually voiding where the GPR says it is, and also then we can determine the, the depth of the void, which is one thing GPR cannot do. This then gives the client all of the information they need to be able to solve this problem. Thank you for stopping by the Janney Technical Center.